Welcome back everyone, this is Pilot of Needles and today we are going to be starting a new series, An Instance of One, where I am going to be running through each of the instances that have a solo option. Now the first question is, what do I mean by an instance? If we look over in the Instance Finder, you'll see that we have several categories of instances. I am specifically talking about the ones that are under the heading instance. I'm not talking about the seasonal instances, the skirmishes, or the epic battles. I've covered them in earlier series. I'm just talking about the ones that are in the instance area, and sometimes there may be additional categories for the newer content, where they will also have categories for them. But right now, we are going to be concentrating on the instances, meaning the scalable instances. Now, at our level, there are very, very few of them available, because I am starting this at level 22. I am going to be using a higher level character for each higher instance that I do, but I decided that I'm also going to be showing how you unlock the instance in question. Now, in this case, the Great Barrow does not have a solo option, so we're not going to be doing them. The Road to Erebor, none of them have a solo option. So the only one that we have here that has a solo option at level 22 is Woe of the Willow. Now usually I'll be showing what you have to do in order to unlock the instance. But Woe of the Willow, the only thing you have to do is to reach level 20. This is sort of a starter instance and they want to be able to give people the option to head into it. Now. While all you have to do is reach level 20 in order to qualify for this, there is a quest associated with that. So we are going to do the quests that lead up to Woe of the Willows so we can get the full story that goes with it. So you understand the context of the instance. And that's one of the reasons why I've decided to run this at level 22 in this case, because I wanted to be sure that I ran it on a character that would not trivialize the associated quest. So let's talk to Sheriff Hob Hayward and see what he has to say. Could I take a moment of your time? Oi there, stranger! I'll warn you right now, you ought to stay away from the old forest. The beasts there are all riled up. They're even gone and attacked hobbits near the old forest tunnel. Hold on. You seem to be the adventuring sort. Uh, think you could lend us a hand? Us founders came up with a brew of sorts that all dissuade most things from approaching. All you need to do is to set up these jars along the road to the bonfire glade. Well, it'll take a while for the smell to set in, so don't drop your guard in the forest and don't breathe in too deeply. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. Well, then, I guess it means that we need to head into the old forest, which means finding the tunnel going into the forest. Here we are, right across from the Buckland Stable Master. Now we have to do is go down this road, and we reach the tunnel. There are a couple of gray quests here that were... Probably available around level 15 or whatever. That's not what we're going to be worried about right now. We're just worried about going along the road. And placing a few jars here and there. So it's certainly not an overly complicated quest or anything like that. Another good spot for a jar. Oh, hold on. But apparently it's also a good spot for wolves. Now these wolves... They are generated by the quest. It's completed. Enmity of the Wolves. Okay. Well, that's good to know. And then another one here. But I think these wolves are generated by the quest because I don't think there will naturally be level 20 wolves in this part of the forest. And by the fact a, it's called a Panicked Forest Hunter, which is another clue that this is when generated for the 
for this specific quest rather than oh yes that is the last spot there we go so let's head back to the gate to Buckland where we will check in with the bounder Hob Hayward I had to fend off a couple of wolves but I managed to place all the jars what do you need Wolves attacked you on the way to the Bonfire Glade? I'd wager they were as panicked as the other animals we've seen. At any rate, I can't say it'll be pleasant venturing into the forest in the time being, but better safe than sorry. All right? Please, stay a moment. Something strange is at work here, no doubt about it. It won't be easy for us bounders to get to the bottom of this. Our numbers are stretched thin enough as it is. If you're able to investigate, we'd welcome the help. Before you go, talk to Marigold Boffin. I'll wager she's just outside of Newbury, but the, by the river shore. She seems to know the forest more than most folk around here. All right, Marigold Boffin. Let's see what she knows about the forest. Marigold is a character that was introduced in the Ballad of Bingo Boffin, one of his first cousins, once removed. And she is of the adventuring sort, right, Marigold? So, the Bounders need our help? Well, I reckon I know where to start our search. I saw the strangest creature mucking about in the forest. They were very tall, tree light, almost not, but not quite. Tough and fierce looking, too. All the animals stayed away from them. Whatever these tree creatures are up to, it can't be good. I'll show you where I saw them. Let me know when you're ready. Right? So what we have here is a little instance that leads to the instance. This is not the main instance, but sort of a prequel to it. What do you say about that? At least we won't be spending another second stuck in Buckland. As you can see, she just loves going to various places. The denizens of the old forest stir restlessly, unnerved by lately appearing strange creatures. Aware of the danger this poses to Buckland, Marigold Boffin has brought you to the forest to further investigate. Oh, don't worry. I know the old forest like the back of me hand. I didn't think we'd be so lucky getting here without being attacked by forest animals. The place where I saw those tree creatures isn't far from here. Oh, don't worry. I know the old forest like the back of me hand. All right. Keep an eye out. All right. There we go. See if you run it. Hold on. Oh, more wolves. And these are level 20 wolves, also. They're scared out of their wits with those tree creatures mucking about. Once this is all over, I hope the forest calms down. I hope so too. Oh, watch out! Spirits? So you see, this is a fixed level 20 quest, which is why I decided to run with the character that was reasonably close to level 20. The instance itself, the main instance, is scalable though. So we'll be running that at level 22. There you go. Or should I run it at 23, considering that I'm getting pretty close to hitting 23 as things are? More ghosts! This doesn't bode well! Wait! Wait. I oh. see the tree creatures over there. Wood trolls. Alright. What about them? We ought to listen to their conversation. It might help us figure out what is going on. Because it looks like they're talking about something important. We can't fight all three of them at once, but if just one leaves, I'm sure that we can stop the remaining two. For now, we ought to listen. 
All right, let's listen. I'm counting on you to have my back pine seat. Many shades have been drawn to the sword. Excellent. The gaunt lord will be satisfied. Once he gets what he wants, this forest will be ours. Do not disappoint me. Mm-hmm. Yes, Gormok. This is our chance. All right. All right, let's go. Hello. You won't ruin this forest. Not while we're here. Uh, it looks like uh, Marigold is... <laughs> Is doing the tank completed? Shield trickery. All right. Well, looks like I'm completing deeds quite a bit in this, if nothing else. All right. This is a character I haven't played in a while. Now I have played other wardens, of course. Ah! I doubt they ever fought anything as short as me. Oh well. Well, this day keeps getting stranger and stranger. If ghosts are being drawn to the forest because of a sword, we need to find it. The Bounders are already worried about the forest animals. We don't need to add Barrow down ghosts to the list. Or at the very least, I know someone who might be able to help us. I'll take you straight to him. All right, let us go to him then. The place where she led us is to the house of Tom Bombadil. And of course, Tom Bombadil is always one to try to catch him. You're welcome to stay and make merry. And right here. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> I never did. <laughs> oh, I never did that chapter, did I? Oh well. A fellow tall, a cruel sword, the wicked dead are calling. By my boots, both I've spied close by old man Willow. A scar of blight on forest green. The trolls, they spread their mischief there. But stay a while. To other paths you may turn and yet be safe. Old Tom must be a goin' to gather lilies for his gold berry. Well, if I took the other quest, I'll be the one gathering the lilies. But that's another matter. Seek you to break the sword? Old Tom won't stop you. But don't you go alone with that old man will a man still a singing? His song today is darker now than once it was, dangerous and mean. Hop along, my little friends, let our hobbit show the way, and steer ye clear of dangers fell, and if you can't stay strong, stay safe. And here we go, all the various things that we that you get for this. A Morgul Blade Trophy, a title, some virtue experience, that's always nice, especially that my character doesn't have all that much virtue at the moment. You can see... I did, there are a number of things I still haven't finished. I was wondering why you still had the quest ring. That's because, yes, the epic story, which apparently I didn't do too much on this character. Wood trolls? Well, that's a first for me. Not many hobbits have faced trolls in the first place. I should have guessed Tom wouldn't be interested in coming with us, but no matter. We can find old man Willow on her own. If you have friends you want to call upon, instead I'll stay behind and watch your backs. Once you figure out what you want to do, we'll be on our way. So here it is. You could complete Old Man Willow on any difficulty setting or whatever at this point in order to continue the quest. Now, as for the instance finder for this, our options for Woe of the Willow are 1, 2, or 3. So I'll be running it as one, in which case Marigold will be coming along. You can be paired up, or you can have a small fellowship. There are five tiers available. And you can set the level you want here, which I think I'm going to make that 23. Last the quest that leads up to Woe of the Willow. Next time, we are going to run the instance itself in an instance of one.